there is a fan noise this is 16 inch macbook pro with 32 gb ram man so what are we talking about here first let me go get something so what do we have here that's macbook air by the way it's a brand new apple m1 series i don't need that silver mac mini 36 8 gb ram um yeah m1 chip needs more room so here we got macbook pro 13 inch uh 8 gb ram 256 base model base model base model eleven hundred dollars australia sixteen hundred dollar australia two thousand dollar australia now all of these all three computers cost about forty three hundred dollars this is my favorite macbook pro if you notice i am a software engineer i do web development mobile development and do some python as well this has been my go-to machine. What I'm trying to say here is these three computers cost $4,300 and this MacBook Pro alone cost almost $5,000 and these three $43. So this is expensive than all three computers combined. Now, I'm really excited about these three computers. I know you've seen benchmarks online. A lot of people have created like a lot of videos. I'm a bit late, but I want to talk about these computers from a developer perspective. I'm a software engineer. I do Node, Java, Python, and do iOS development, which is supposed to be really good. And it is good on these Intel base Mac as well. Now, this is coming from somebody who is a Windows user as well. I do live stream and I use Windows and I also do .NET development. I have a full, fully spec'd out desktop computer, which I use for sometimes development, some for, sometimes for video editing. And my desktop development machine has been the 2020 Mac Mini, which has 64 GB RAM. And all of this has been really, really nice. Like I could develop and I could, you know, pretty much run. Uh, I usually have 15 to 20 apps running. I don't like closing my Chrome tabs or Firefox tabs, or I don't like closing my IDE. I use uh, ID called uh, IntelliJ, which is quite heavier than real, uh, real Studio Code. One thing that I'm really, really excited about compared to these Intel-based Macs versus these Macs is fan noise. I just hate it. Uh, that was the main reason for me to switch to Macs because they're usually really quiet. But MacBook 16 is like a jet engine and obviously it's really, really quiet. Uh, but still, uh, when I do render uh, the video, not on Final Cut only, but Adobe Premium Pro, uh, I could hear the fan. But here, this guy, MacBook Air, has no fan. Has no fan. And the benchmark I've seen online are really, really great. Uh, and I'm really excited about it. One thing I worry about is that I use 20, 15 to 20 apps pretty much all the time. IntelliJ, Chrome, Firefox. I have some a database uh, running, Docker, some running some containers, and there's a lot of things running usually on my Mac mini or Windows computer. Now, I'm concerned about this eight gigabyte RAM. Uh, I really didn't want to wait for like, because in Australia, if you do build to order from Apple's site, they take about, I don't know, maybe one month to deliver the product. So that's why I couldn't wait because I can still probably stick to my uh, 16 inch MacBook Pro for development uh, be just because uh, I want to test whether I can run all the apps uh, which I can run on a 16 inch MacBook Pro or Intel based Mac on these devices that run. That's when I will make a call.
that I really want to switch uh, to these computers. Uh, that's going to be my main concern about these computers. And also, I will be creating a lot of videos. Uh, now, this is unboxing. And definitely, you guys have seen unboxing online. Uh, maybe millions of people have done the unboxing. And, you know, there's nothing special here. I have, uh, what do you call this, old um, dual-core 13-inch MacBook Pro as well. Uh, it, it's, it looks the same. This, this MacBook Pro, it's pretty much the same thing. Whether you should buy this machine now, if you are a software engineer, uh, .NET, Python, Java, Groovy, iOS development, um, and also I will talk about Node as well, front-end and a back-end development with Node as well. I'll be installing a lot of packages on these machines and I'll be talking about whether you should move to ARM-based processor for your main productive machine. And especially I'll talk about the noise uh, versus 16-inch and 13-inch MacBook Pros. Too much talking, I'm just going to open this box. Wow, that's pretty nice. I'll just put it here and there we go. That's the MacBook Air. I'm really, really excited actually because of the weight. I've, I've always been a 15-inch MacBook Pro or 16-inch uh, MacBook Pro now. Oh, nice. Oh, look at the sound. Okay, so we have a MacBook Air. One thing that I'm really excited about is having no touch bar. Next one, this is a Mac Mini. That's what I'm most excited about. Wow. 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 This is actually very light compared to the one I had there. I wish they had four Thunderbolt. That would have been great, but this computer apparently can beat my iMac, this guy. So we have MacBook Pro, 13 inch, M1 chip. And, oh, oh that's a nice smell. There we go, you got 13 inch MacBook Pro. Now I'm just gonna leave that here for now because, so I'll be comparing MacBook Pro 13 inch uh, M1 and the older one, Mac Mini, newer one and the older one with 64 GB RAM, fanless MacBook Air, no fan, and I want to find out if this MacBook Air can uh, can actually uh, I could actually use the external display which is 4K. When I plug in my 16 inch MacBook Pro. With these two 4K displays, uh, 4K displays, I'm actually hearing a lot of noise, which I cannot stand. So this is uh, my shopping and my unboxing plus, you know, uh, impression with these computers. And I want to do a lot of benchmarking as a software engineer, Python, Java, C++, .NET, uh, Node, and I will probably ask you guys to tell me what you want me to test on these devices. Also, I will test some heavy end applications. Not Final Cut Pro because people have done Final Cut Pro benchmarks and Adobe Premium Pro, but I'll be doing some other desk applications, Blender, Maya, and I'll be using these computers real time and showing you probably live. Um, so how these machines perform. I'm really excited. I'm going to play with these machines and um, hope to make more videos soon. And uh, yeah, talk to you guys in the next video with some cool benchmark and testing with these machines.